Hey everyone, Dave Olson from AffiliateProfitCenter.com. Today we're going to have a look at uh, RSS feeds. We're going to find out what they are and find out how you can use them. Okay, so what is an RSS feed? Well, an RSS feed is a way for a web publisher to uh, keep in contact with people who are interested in reading or seeing what they, what they have to say on their blogs. RSS is a technology that's built right into WordPress. There's nothing you have, nothing special you have to do to uh, in, in, to activate it. And all you really have to do is let people know that you have an RSS feed on your site, and they can uh, they can do the rest. So let's take a look at a typical site and find where their RSS feed is and see what we have to do to subscribe. Okay, I'm at a site here called Mobile Whack, and it's just a random site that I chose. And I'm going to head down here and see if I see anything. Up, oh, right up there. Subscribe to Mobile Whack. Now, if I click that on. That's going to bring me to this page. Now, this page says blog lines up top, and that's because blog lines is my default RSS reader. Blog lines is a, is a third party application that I use for reading my RSS feeds, and that's because older browsers couldn't handle RSS feeds. They didn't know what to do with them. It would just show up as unformatted kind of gobbledygook on, on, the, on their screens. So, uh, a bunch of third party applications were developed to better handle RSS. And I happen to have picked blog lines as my default RSS reader. So now whenever blog lines detects that I'm going to look at an RSS feed, it automatically pops up, kind of taken over my web page. It formats the uh, RSS feed that I'm looking at so I can get an idea of what it's all about and allows me to uh, to categorize it any way that I want. So I'm looking at, a fo uh, at this feed from MobileWack and I can open up my user-defined list of, uh, of different uh, folder names and I'm, I think I'm just going to leave this right at the top level folder. Um, there's other options I can do and again these options here are blog lines options. Um, I'm going to leave everything at the default because that's usually easiest. If I wanted to I could put a little note in here about what this feed was all about, why I subscribed to it. And when I'm finally done with all that, click the subscribe button. And now I'm I'm in there. Now here's my my list of feeds. These are the feeds I've already subscribed to and if you look right here, Mobile Whack, that appears. So what can I do with this feed? Well, if I click on Mobile Whack, you see over on the right hand side of my screen is the different posts that are right now on the RSS feed of Mobile Whack. So I can either read read them here, or if I see something that interests me, maybe I want to take a, take a quick look at the site, so I'll just click on this hyperlink, which will take me right back to the Mobile Whack website to the uh, page that this particular post is on, and then I can read the whole post as, as I want. And when that's done, I can just head back to uh, blog lines and look at the next post. So that's what an RSS feed is. It's really a very handy way of uh, looking at a lot of different websites just to see what kind of new information they have out there very quickly. It's great because you don't have to search the individual websites and see if anything new is posted. Simply open up your RSS reader, in my case it's blog lines, and look at your feeds and you can review all your, all your feeds at once and see who's posted something new. And if you see something you like in the reader, you can always just click on the hyperlink and, and visit the, the site itself. So in a nutshell, that's an RSS feed. Uh, good luck using them uh, on your own. Thanks for listening, everyone.